Welcome back to the World's RV Show going on at Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling dealership in the world with one location. My name is Donnie O'Banion and I'm back here with Art Rivard, the regional sales manager for the Class A gas division of Thor Motor Coach. And uh, he's going to be showing us around now the all new Windsport and uh, what's new for 2013 and actually a half, correct? Yep, exactly. This is the... How you doing, Art? Good. Thank Thanks you again for being here. I appreciate being here and you know just the opportunity to talk talk about Thor Industries and some of our products and you know what sets us apart from the industry, why we are where we're at in today's marketplace. Tell us a little bit about the the new 32A. Well, the 32A this floor plan is exceptional. It's it goes back years and years as far as a, a pretty basic floor plan, but it's always been one of the top sellers in the RV industry. Uh, the Windsport itself, you know, we. We dominate the industry in gas class A's and the Windsport is one of our top lines. We've added numerous new floor plans to it now, which you either you have or will have in here. I mean, we've expanded out into some new 34 foot floor plans, the bath and a half models. We've got a new full wall slide, king size bed, which we've never had before, outside kitchen options. I mean, people really need to come in and look at some of the new things that we've done at Thor Industries and especially with the Windsport line. I mean. It, it's incredible. And as we'd mentioned before, the Windsport um, is uh, also going to be um, is going to be a, a hurricane line as well. They're basically going to be uh, very similar in product, other than colors and some of the styling features. Correct? Exactly. I mean, the the two product lines are virtually clones of each other. We have five floor plans of each one. Amenities are the same. The options are the same. It just it gives the consumer more options. In most marketplaces we'll have a hurricane dealer and a windsport dealer. You're one of the few if not the only in the industry that carries both. But that does give the consumer three or four more interior color options, exterior striping options, just things along that line. And now especially with the with the new HD Max sidewall it was even more important for us to continue on with both lines to just be able to give two uh, essentially two uh, almost full body paint looking Exactly. Uh, options with the HD Max mm -hmm. because the Windsport's going to be in the grayer tone and the Hurricane's going to be more in a beige, correct? Windsport, like in a tan. You're right. This is the actual HD Max on the Windsport. The Hurricane will have the same basic style, but it'll be kind of a silver gray background. We've started this, you know, it's been six, eight months ago after many, many months of research to make sure we do it right. That's one thing I like about Thor. They don't just do something. We we investigate it, we do what is going to last for the industry. You know, we work with a company called Crown Composites that, you know, instead of the old white bread truck fiber, you know, motorhomes of the past with striping, right. we now actually color the fiberglass. And it's through and through color. It's not just a surface thing that's put on. So with this tan gel coat fiberglass, and we put, we have two different vinyl striping packages that you can get to dress it up, but I mean, it, it's great in here, but I'll tell you what, outside this thing looks like a full body paint motorhome at about a fifth of the cost of a full body paint coach. So it's really taken off in the industry and I think it's just gonna get stronger and stronger with us. I do as future. well. You know, and even in your class C market, you exactly. know, you're really the first ones to really, I think, going to yep. dominate early with the uh, colored mm -hmm. sidewalls in your class C market as well. Yep, exactly. You know, and I don't know if it's, you know, not, not necessarily just with the wind sport, but all of our Class A's and our Class C's that we build at Thor. I mean, to me, after being in this as many years as I have, which I don't want to get into, <laughs> it's not about pretty. I don't care about pretty. I'm a, I come from the manufacturer, and to me, the things that Thor does that set us apart are the things you cannot see. That's what make our, makes our coaches last longer. It makes them quieter and less vibration-free when you're going down the road and why people buy them. It's because of what we do in that other aspect of the things you cannot see. I mean, and, and as we spoke about before, you know, that was one of the big things of the reason why I wanted you to come down. You know, mm -hmm. not to traditionally just go to an RV show, talk to one of my salesmen or talk to another dealership salesman who's trying to sell off, you know, stuff that's a year old, it's, you know, it's exactly. older inventory, <clears throat> and they don't have the product knowledge. You know, it's just just fact of the matter. I mean, very few salesmen are going to have true product knowledge and understanding of the company, um, and of course, you know how it's truly built. And that's why I thought this would be a great opportunity for a lot of people to uh, have an opportunity to 
ask you questions right. and uh, to hear it you know, come from somebody who truly understands the ma at, a, at a manufacturing level you know, how the coaches go together. Right. And, and, it's, uh, yeah, it's seeing the things that most RVers don't ever see. I mean, to me, it's how we build the coach. I mean, it's the box itself. I, you know, we build one of the best boxes in the industry. The box is where you're living in, it's where you're riding and driving, you're spending your time. I tell consumers this all the time, whether it be at dealerships or at RV shows. You know, if you're spending a lot of money, you're looking to invest in a house. Come up to Elkhart, come up and go through our plant, do a plant tour. And I assure them, if you come up there and you go through our production plant and then visit some of the various other ones up there, you will buy a Thor Motorhome. It, it, it's just that unique and that different on how we do things. And again, to me, it's all about the box. Square, tight, everything fits together properly. Everything is balanced perfectly. I mean, they, the drivability is incredible. I mean, one thing about the box is it's how we mount the walls in the floor together. We have an inch and a half vacuum on side wall. We have an inch and a half steel welded reinforced floor with all block foam filled. We take that wall and we mount it outside the floor instead of up on the top. We mount it outside and then about every six to eight inches we put a three inch lag bolt into that steel floor so it locks it into place. You, you don't get any movement of that like you do when it's up here. I mean, that's, that's three quarters of our house, of our box. Then we cap that off with a five inch vacuum bond roof structure that just makes that box the tightest and secure as it can be. Also, when we mount the house to the chassis, you know, we've got the big frame rails of the Ford chassis. Most manufacturers mount right to the frame rails, which is very safe, secure, and it does the job. But when you're riding and driving in these motorhomes, the road noise and road vibration that you get in the house is transferred up into the home from the frame rails. So what we do, and we take our chassis before they come to us, they actually go over to Moride Industries, well known in the RV industry for aftermarket components. They actually weld on inch and a half risers along the frame rails. And then on top of that, we put in neoprene, the neoprene isolators, which is a noise and vibration damper. And then we mount the house. They bring the chassis over to our plant. Now we start mounting onto that. So basically, when you're riding or driving in the coach, you're an inch and a half above those frame rails that eliminates that transfer. And then so, again, that neoprene works as like a harmonics deadener. So the vibration exactly. between the two pieces of, of metal, right. basically what you're talking yeah. about, has that neoprene in between it. Yep. And, and that's what makes the, 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 uh, the box so much quieter. Exactly. And that's why I, I always right. stress to my people and to when they're out training, you know, the, your people, you've got to ride and drive in our motorhomes. Thor Industries has some of the quietest and best driving motorhomes in the RV industry. And that's from our smallest little 22-foot Class C's all the way up into our 45-foot diesel pushers. They've got to go out and test drive these motorhomes and see how quiet and vibration-free they really are. And, you know, just to touch on that again, I mean, even what you just said, I mean, really sets Thor Motor Coach apart from most of the manufacturers, I mean, because they're not going to offer that type of, of product diversity, right. you know, from a 22-foot Class C to what you just said, a 45-foot tag axle diesel mm -hmm. pusher. Um, it's just all but extinct in the RV industry for somebody to have as many models as y'all offer exactly. and at different price points. <clears throat> yep. Now, the wind sport... <clears throat> like the Hurricane is what we call a semi-basement coach. It's very important to us. We, do, we have a lot of exterior storage compartments. They're not the big pass-through compartments you'll find on some basement models, which we also build. But the important thing is, is the overall height of the coach. On a, on a motorhome like this, on the wind sport, we use seven inch trusses along where we mount the house to. It still gives us very adequate basement storage that we'll look at, but the big selling feature is to the tallest point of this motorhome, to the top of the air conditioner, we're 11 feet, 11 inches. A lot of people still like to store their motorhomes in storage barns, you know, pole barns, garages, facilities that have 12 foot doors on them. There's you, very few Class A's in the industry that have the abundant storage we have that will still fit under a 12-foot door. Right, because the 12-foot is still the standard door. Yes. I mean, it's a special order to go to the 14s. Yes, exactly. And it's just not as commonplace. Mm -hmm. But you still pick up. I mean, a lot of people refer to this as a non-basement. It's not. There is a lot of basement storage. But we still have the overall height being down. 
You know, you've got all rotocast compartments. They're all injection molded. These are actually bolted to the steel floor underneath that we talked about. You can hose them out. They all have their own lighting in them. And it's just, they're just great compartment opposed to the ones with, you know, that'll use either a tin or a metal compartment that cover, they cover it with carpet. They rattle, they rust when you're going down the road. Or a wood compartment, again, most times covered up by carpet where if it gets wet, it starts to dissolve the woodwork and things like that, so. And of course, it's going to be a big weight savings oh, on a coach like this as, definitely. as well. I mean, and that is a big factor with Thor Industries. I mean, I, I'll say we have some of the best carrying capacities in the industry. Most models will have 2,000, 2,500, as high as 3,000 pound carrying capacity. That's what we want. We know the consumers are going to go out there and they're going to put sometimes 1,000, 2,000 pounds sure. in these compartments. They're never going to use 90% of it but they take it with them anyway. The last, <laughs> no, there's no doubt. <laughs> the last thing we want is to max out the chassis. That's a very dangerous situation when you max out what the chassis builder says this thing will carry. We want you to be able to carry that 1,000, 1,500 pounds of stuff you're not gonna use, but be, still be safe and have the drivability <laughs> right. of the coach. So, you know. Even if it's a semi-basement, if you look, again, rotocast compartments, all lighted. Now this particular one, and every model's a little different, this has a pass-through all the way through to the other side. So you've got items like ladders, skis, longer items and things you can't get in a non-basement coach will fit in to our coach the way we have it designed and the way the structure is set up with the, with the framework. Of course, you've got your full-length patio awning electric all you do is you know inside the door takes about eight to ten seconds bring it in bring it out elect a couple electric outlets out here again you've got abundant storage as you go along even this back one here we've got a bedroom slide but even inside that we have a huge compartment here again all rotocast for bigger items, lawn chairs, golf clubs, those big things you don't want yeah, to carry. Yeah, the big coolers. Right. Right. You can even break down you know, bicycles and stuff and put into exactly. a bag like that. Just things you don't want to put inside the motorhome. We try to utilize every possible place for storage, but still keep that low profile unit where it'll fit underneath that 12 foot door. And the, the slide rooms, these are, these are now, that's that, on every coach that y'all right. are building now, correct? That is the latest and greatest thing in the industry. It's a Schwintech slide system, which is made by a company called Lippert. Lippert is getting more and more involved in the RV industry. It's actually a four-point system. It goes in and out at four points instead of that single ram underneath. Right. Virtually impossible for it to get out of sync when it's going in and out. I mean, it's just a great backup system and we've switched our entire fleet over to the Schwinn Tech system. And that'll save flooring as well, because a lot of times the, the old pulley type systems and right. hydraulic type right. systems of coach from years ago, like you said, only pulled from two areas. They always pulled at the bottom first. Exactly. So once they did get out of alignment, it was easy to tear flooring or to bust a tile, right. uh, something along those lines. With And uh, again, just to reiterate what you said, you're going to pull from all four corners, so the box is always going to stay true, true all in the and time. out. And it has, you know, which is in the, their paperwork, it has one of the best backup systems in the industry. Should, you know, should, should something fail on it, it's a five minute process. You go to the, the control box for the slide, you take off the two connectors for the two motors, you can literally push the slide out in, hook the wires back, cables back up, it locks the motors back up, and they can head for service. Gotcha. And it's just, it's one of the best systems. Lippert has been you know, using this and testing it for years. They finally got it to the point where we thought it, it's the best slide mechanism in the industry. And right, because when you go back much. with the hydraulics and things like that, I mean, you're right. talking about emptying lines and hydraulic right. fluid. And or it, cranking it in the electric exactly. ones. And, <laughs> right. I mean, a, a electric slide is great until it fails. And the old system, you, I mean, you literally had to tear the underbelly apart, get the ratchet up in there, and crank it in. Well, every revolution of that ratchet, it moved about that far. And it'd take you four or five hours to crank in a slide room. And it just, it's the best system in the industry, and that's the kind of things that we look at and do, and we make the investment in because it's the best thing. And out the there. dependability, I mean, literally, I, I don't know of one that's come back in for service yet for a, for a slide problem. Nope. So far, we've, I mean, it's been a tremendous system for over a year now. 
You know, we put front and back fiberglass caps on all of our coaches. We use all LED lighting now, so LED lighting is raised up higher than you'll see on most. So if you do have a tow vehicle, it's very visible to the people behind. You got your ladder so you can get up on the roof, check your silicones and things. Again, that's a big selling feature, I think, on the hurricane and the wind sport is a walk on roof. Most motorhomes use four trusses in their roof structure two on either side of the air conditioners. They call them walk-on roofs, but they'll tell you in the paperwork, when you get up there to check things once or twice a year, tend to stay towards the sides where the walls and everything meet because it's a little stronger. Right. We actually, on the Hurricane Wind Sport lines, we run 16-inch on-center rafters from front to back. It is a true walk-on roof structure. So even in the center of the coach, right behind the air conditioning units, doesn't matter. So the guys got right. up there. Got a 16 inch on center from front to back. And wants to go to NASCAR, wants to get his exactly. friends up there, that they type of deal. They take their coolers, they take their lawn chairs, their headsets. Down here in Texas, I know how big football is. You know, if mom and dad want to go watch the kids at the football game, bring, you know, grandma and grandpa along. If they want to get up there with their lawn chairs, that's, you know, that's what it's all about. And then the roof material, the actual cover that y'all are using on, yep. on top. We use it, you know, on all of our units, it's TPO, it's thermal polyolefin. It is a flexible material. It's pliable. We actually, it's a one piece, so there are no seams on the roof structure at all. We have a five inch vacuum on roof, which tapers down on the side, so you got great water runoff. We don't glue the material down. We want it to fluctuate up there because the coaches do right. twist and turn. As a 12 year warrant, manufacturer's warranty on it. To us, That's it's the best, the best thing in the industry. It's lightweight, it's durable, and there's really nothing any better out there. Uh, last point I was gonna make on the back of the cap um, mm -hmm. is the difference in styling between this and the Hurricane. And we talked about the floor plans being the same, so basically it just comes down to color options, both inside and out. Right. But the only uh, visual difference from the outside of the units is going to be the, the difference in front and rear cap. Exactly. Other Gonna have that, a little bit of, little little bit difference, of difference in, in styling. Striping. You know, 5,000 pound receiver hitches are standard on all of our coaches. They're wired with a seven-way Bargman plug. Backup camera, which we have on all of them. These, again, these have LED lighting in them, so it's daytime all the time. The nice thing about our cameras, they are voice monitored up to the front. So if, if she's back here helping him into a tight area, no more hand signals, no more walkie-talkies. You can stand just like this and talk, and the driver can hear it through the compartment up there. It's very unique. It's a big safety feature. Yeah, definitely. And you've got uh, color cameras all the way around as well, correct? Yes, not only the backup camera, but the side vision that we'll touch on up there, they're also the same way. Again, you've got numerous storage compartments along the back side over here. Again, they're lighted compartments, all rotocast compartments. You got an outside shower with hot and cold running water. Your holding tank area. Now, because it is what we call a semi-basement coach, the gray and black tanks are not in heated areas as far as between the frame rails like they are in a full basement. We don't have the height in order to do that. So what we do is we offer a heating tank option. It's right. a 12-volt, basically a heating blanket system that wraps the gray and the black tanks. The freshwater tanks are always inside the motorhome, so they're not an issue. But in freezing climate, all you do is go to your monitor panel, hit 12, you know, black tank heater, gray right. tank heater, and it's as, just as good as a full basement heated tank. And on all of the ordered coaches at Motorhome Specialist, we're putting that feature on. Everyone, them. automatically. I mean, it is always an option. It's always an add-on item later. We pre-wire, but it's like anything else. If it's installed at the factory on the assembly line, it just it's a better fit, better finish, just better all Absolutely. the way around. Fuel tanks are all located in a convenient spot, so when the driver pulls in, he can see where he's at with the tank. We put an 80-gallon fuel tank on all of our gas class A's. An important factor a lot of people don't realize is your generator runs off your main tank. We tap in about an eighth of a way from the bottom on the side of the tank. So if you're out boondocking, you're out enjoying yourself at the lake, you're running the generator, that generator runs out of fuel, you've got eight to 10 gallons in that tank to get yourself to a station. Surprising, <laughs> not thinking, other, you know, a lot of manufacturers tap into the bottom. You can literally run yourself completely out of fuel and be setting someplace where you don't want to be. So again, the 32A's got the roadside slide. You'll notice our slide toppers, all of our slide rooms have automatic slide toppers that go in and out to protect the top of the coach. 
Even on our new 34 footers, it's a full length. We never go to a two piece slide topper because it just does not give as good a coverage on it. Along this side here, you've got numerous, again, storage compartments. You'll see down here you're exhausted for your, not only for the Ford engine, also your generator exhaust. And we the use, generator's gonna be an Onan? We use nothing but Onan. 4KW is our standard. We normally, you always upgrade yours to a 5.5. A 5,500 watt, that gives you three things. It gives you a 50 amp service for the coach instead of 30. It gives you wiring for a second air conditioner in the bedroom, which normally it will have on it too. Right. And it gives you a gas electric water heater instead of just a gas. Another important feature is, I mean, 99% of our floor plans, we mount the generator on the road side, opposed to the patio side. We always exhaust it over here to this side. Right. So it's away from your patio area. If you're running it, you happen to be entertaining. You don't have the noise and exhaust going over into the patio area and we try to keep it as far away from the bedroom as possible so if you're in a dry camp area we're running it at nighttime. Sure, sure. And when you go to the HD Max you get the chrome mirrors automatically. Right, on a full body painted coach they paint the mirrors but I mean this is a very nice accent when you get the, the HD Max. It really is. You get the chrome mirrors and then also your side vision cameras now are mounted into the mirrors and we'll take a look at the monitor on the inside and how well the visibility is on both sides of the coach. And then there's also a little thing I like to point out to, especially to the women inside on that side vision camera, which it really wasn't meant for, but it really does work well. One big factor about our gas class A's that I always like to tell the consumer about, we use a steel firewall. Donnie, it's surprising in the RV industry how many gas class A's out there today use a wood firewall that is painted black. This open. Yeah. And it's very important to the consumer, and I try to get the salespeople, you reach back in here about 18 inches, there's a rubber flapping there. Pull that aside and have him reach in and feel that steel firewall. I mean, it, you talk about safety on a front end collision. I would not want, you know, God forbid it never happens, but I sure don't want a piece of wood stopping what's going on. I want a steel <laughs> firewall. It's very, very important, and it's something that your customers need to really check on. Another thing that we do on the front end, we cut our windshields down about eight inches lower than what most manufacturers do. If you, you, know, if you see a row of Class A's out at a show or whatever, you can stand back and pick the Hurricanes and the wind sports because of this dip right here. Most of the fiberglass is up around the windshield wiper area. It's not a big factor, but when you're sitting in the pilot co-pilot seat, you can see about eight to 10 feet closer to the front of the motorhome than what you can in your standard coach. Again, that's, right. a, that's a big selling feature, and it's a big safety feature. I just noticed, um, just from looking out here with the, with the angled dash, is how much better job y'all are doing for, from a defroster standpoint. Oh, I mean, normally, you know, they're just going to have like two 12-inch bars, right. you know, from if that, the automotive, yeah. no, you know, I mean, application. They're buying the same ones, but y'all are doing your own, yep. your own duct our, work. And there's six four right here in the there. center, and then mm -hmm. you're actually hitting the corners as well. And one on either side. It's very, very important. Again, that's a safety feature, whether it be the side vision cameras, whether it be the steel firewall, whether it be the lower cut windshield the better defroster system, it's all about the consumer. I mean, these are people that are out supposed to be enjoying and having fun, and we want to make it that way. We've added the new side window over here a year or so ago. A lot of people call it this their doggy pet window where they can sit up here and they can look outside. That's great. It's a safety feature again. When I'm in that driving compartment and I'm making a right-hand turn, I can look down at the curb out here and see where I'm at. That's a, that's a great feature. And then when you couple the three camera monitoring system with it, right. I mean, there's virtually no blind spots on these coaches anymore. One last thing before we go inside, and I see it all the time, several motorhomes out in the industry, they have their one or two house batteries. They mount them under a step that lifts up right here to, for access to get at it. I don't understand why. I mean, we put them in an outside compartment. They're very easy to access, very easy to maintain, check, change if you have to. The thing is, by putting them under the steps, batteries tend to leak fumes. It's inside the house. God forbid that battery should explode, which they do from time to time. It's in the house. A right. daily 
problem is by putting the batteries underneath one of the steps, that step is usually an inch to an inch and a half taller than the rest of the steps. That's a tripping hazard for an older couple or even a younger couple walking in with two bags of groceries, walking in carrying the baby, walking out carrying the baby. You have to think every time you take a step. It's just human nature, you, you know, it doesn't sure. make sense. On the hurricane wind sport from the ground to the floor of the coach, every step is exactly the same, including the electric step. And again, and, that's And then a you not only put feature. an exterior grab handle, but an interior right. grab and handle. And a huge one that comes out and bows in, so that means you can get very good access from inside and out, and they don't loosen up. And we're gonna cover a little bit of that when we get on the inside. You got it. This floor plan is awesome. People walk into it at shows. They come in, they look around, not paying attention to when they walked in. They'll think, is this a 35, 36 foot? Exactly. They're shocked when they realize it's a 32 foot motorhome. The depth of this slide creates mm -hmm. so much more square footage. I mean, when I first walked in, I mean, I took a second glance. I was like, there's gotta be an opposing slide. Right. But it's just because this one room is so much deeper than normal. Yeah, and look how big the side windows are. Right, and you know, they both open up. You get great ventilation going through. You got a huge horseshoe shaped dinette. The table drops down, that makes a great sleeping area. You've got a, a cushion in the back that slides in there. You got the airbed sofa that back rolls over. It's a quick inflate, quick deflate airbed. The sofa has three seat belts mounted. The horseshoe shaped dinette has three. There's one on either end and one on the back side. So I mean you've got eight seat belts in here. You've got a great Euro recliner over here. It's got the kick, it, kick up footstool. It lays pretty much flat all the way down so at nighttime the whole house is useful. You can swivel around the pilot co-pilot seats so that they're part of the living area and not just a driving compartment. I mean look how plush the, the drivers and passengers seats are. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, I've got $175,000 diesel pushers outside that don't have near as nice of pilot and co-pilot seats. And it looks like y'all are doing all of your own, um, your leather work, because typically the Euro recliner is always something that's bought right. aftermarket and matches nothing in the coach. Yep. No, that's important. And, and we have great engineers and buyers that, you know, because of our volume, we're able to get, manu or, you know, get vendors to do things that most of them can't do. But with the amount of things that we buy, it's a big factor on not only That's what it. we do plus the price of everything that we pay. And, and that, to touch on that again, from the Class C to that diesel pusher, that's where you get so much buying power. Exactly. Because you know, the bottom. components that go inside these coaches from manufacturer to manufacturer, 75, 80 percent uh, at least, or you know, the things that get bolted onto the coaches are, you know, they're Norcold or they're Dometic refrigerator. Right. You know, it's Atwood ranges. You know, mm -hmm. people are buying from the same vendors. So then it really gets into the manufacturing standpoint. And that's where y'all are able to spend more money and still come in at or below other manufacturers with a superior product because True. these things that you're buying in bulk, you can't be spending as much as a guy who's only going to build right. 300 units a year versus how much you're buying. So. You know, that, that's where that buying power comes in and you're able to bring so much motorhome to the market for less yep. money. And we take advantage of it, believe me. Just, <laughs> you're supposed you to. Know, and you can see some of the things that we do. We virtually eliminated the carpeting now on the floor. We use a, a strong tile. You'll find carpeting on the slide areas, you know, up around the driving compartment. But other than that, this is what the consumer wants. This is right. what the women want. You know, they can put throw rugs down, they can dress it up as they need to, but they want tile so that they easy clean up. And it's great to see them actually recognize that. I mean, you can right. imagine putting carpet in a diesel coach over the last five years. I mean, it's been tile and for some reason the gas market kind of lagged, lagged behind. Well, it always made the most sense to me because you know, you're gonna have a lot more family and friend oriented uh, right. coaches and floor plans, you know, with these. And the carpet usually takes more abuse, you know, in a class mm -hmm. C or a class A gas simply because of, you know, more kids involved and you know, more family members. Exactly. And just, you know, given the things that the people want. I mean, we now have solid surface countertops on our coaches, which was a big plus over the laminate. You've got the, you know, molded sink covers. We've gone to a 30 inch microwave. Most of them use an 18 or a 20, which we did in the past, and they were virtually useless. But this new 30 inch, it's, I mean, it's incredible. It's the size of a full household microwave. 
and you'll find this in all of the Winsport products now. And in most all the coaches here, I still opt in the uh, the traditional the oven. oven. Right. It's a little larger, but you know, a lot of times they, you know, people want to bake and want to cook. Right. I mean, it's not just being able to utilize a, you know, a half time oven. So, you know, I leave that in a lot of our, in a lot of our coaches, especially coaches that, that offer so much right. uh, cabinet exactly. space as this, as this floor plan does. You know, we use all solid wood cabinet doors, all solid wood drawer fronts, all full extension metal drawer guides with ball bearings. I mean, we use 10 pound locks on everything. So nothing opens up when you're traveling. I mean, we try to do the best of everything, but again, this is all great stuff, but I go back to the initial. It's, it's those other things you can't see. I mean, we talked about how we mount the house onto the chassis with our inch and a half rise system, how we right. mount the walls and the floor together to make it more rigid. I mean, just the walls themselves are phenomenal. I mean, any cutout we double reinforce, whether it's the windows, the doors, the vents, we double reinforce with aluminum. It's, it's a more expensive process opposed to the wood double reinforcement that a lot of manufacturers use, but wood absorbs moisture. We know the aluminum is more expensive process, but we feel it is the better process to use of the two. And then just the lamination of the walls. I mean, we laminate all the way around, not only the floor, the ceiling, the walls, Pretty much everybody laminates their walls now, which is taking six, seven layers of material with a thin layer of glue under a vacuum uh, right, table. Right, actually vacuum bonding it. Makes it a half inch piece of wood. And then the manufacturers take that piece of wood and they start building their motorhome. Well, we go a very expensive step farther. These things move a lot when you're going down the road. Things loosen up, especially the cabinetry, the heaviest part of the sure. coach. It starts to loosen up, then it starts to creak and make noises when you're traveling, which is aggravating. Anything that's screwed in to the, the walls and the ceiling, the lambricans, the valances, as we talked about when we were outside, the door handles. I can go around in most motorhomes and do this for about five minutes and have this right it's off. off or loose because they take a short wood screw into a piece of wood. It's great when it's new, but over a period of time of coming in and out, it starts to loosen. We actually laminate steel strapping, steel plates into our walls and roof wherever anything's screwed in. There's actually a steel plate behind this. So we take a metal screw into a piece of steel. The cabinetry, the heaviest part of the coach is the first thing that loosens up. There's steel plates in behind. And I can go around. I mean, what I used to do when, when I was young and in good shape, I would just literally come in here and I would hang from this cabinet. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> we went out a few years ago and we bought over 500 magnetic name tags for all of our salespeople at our dealerships. Right. They thought it was great. They have a name tag. <laughs> I thought it was great because they all had a magnet with them now to show the consumer what we do different. Right. This is a piece of wood like in every other motorhome around. You take this magnet and in most cases along there, there's a steel plate. I can stick this magnet to that wood wall. And it's not sticking to the wood, it's sticking to the steel in behind it. You can usually catch it around the ceiling too. This is a ozite ceiling. Magnets are not gonna stick to that. It's sticking to that piece of steel that's up inside there that we're screwed up into. It makes all the difference in the world on the coach lasting, staying quieter, and just it's like you said with the entry better. handle. It's not when it's right. brand new. It's no, when you've owned exactly. it for three or four years. Yep. You know, again, this is one of the great floor plans because when they're traveling, we, you know, when the slide outs are in, you want to be able to entertain the children. A lot of people don't think. They go to an RV dealership. They go to an RV show. They see everything set up. It's beautiful. Right. They don't think about this nice midship TV that when the slide out comes in, it covers it up. They don't realize that till they make their first trip. And they got little Johnny <laughs> right. back here and trying to entertain him and he can't watch television because it's covered up. Right. Again, we go outside the box. We talk to our consumers. We talk to our owners. What do you like? What don't you like? Our first 32 A's, this TV was fixed. It was an issue. So our engineering department went to our buyers and said, I need something that will move this. So now when you're traveling and the slide up comes into here, instead of covering up half the television, this thing locks out into place over here. 
Now they can sit back here and they can watch television, play video games, do whatever when they're traveling. It's those little things like that that make a difference. Uh, yeah. a, a big difference in the experience. It is. They're getting it's, there. Because, uh, you know, that's part of the reason why you're buying it. It's not about the staying. So it's like you said when they go to the RV show, that's all about what you've already set up camp. Right. But how many hours did you spend getting there? You know, and that's supposed to be part of the fun and part right. of the experience. Take a look back here and I'll... Again, one of the things about the 32A, because people come in and they think they're in a 35 to 36 foot motorhome, it might be a little tighter than here than, than some like, but trust me, once they come in and they look around, they see that living room area, that huge dining area, this works just fine for them. They spend the majority of their time out in the living area anyway. You know, you got your island queen bed, very easy to make up. You got three cabinets along here, very deep cabinets. As you can see, we do in our, the headboards of our slides, we have ventilating windows on both sides, which you don't get in a lot of motorhomes. A lot of people right. have trouble putting their head, you know, sleeping in that whole area with, with a solid wall on each side. You've now got windows, and not only that, they vent windows, so you get good, you know, cross ventilation going across. You've got a lot of hanging wardrobe space. You've got a big closet over on that side, a big double wardrobe here. I mean, just a lot of hanging space, a ton of drawers. Yeah, big chest of drawers area. down there. You got right. nine, nine drawers. Exactly. And then what's kind of unique with this area right here is, I mean, you almost have like a, a vanity. It's a great dressing area. You don't need the chair. You can sit right here on the edge of the bed. You got the mirror and everything there. You got lights up on the top side here. Great entertainment center back here. So if he's up there watching a sporting event, she can come back here, or vice versa. I mean, it's, right. just, it's a. It's great mounted up porch. high for easy viewing, no matter exactly. what. Exactly. It's got the angle to it. And we've got another, got a large cabinet in here with adjustable shelf and uh, another another closet. Then this one does have the split bathroom, which a lot of people like. You've got the shower on one side and the actual commode enclosed in a separate room on the other side. And the bathroom door actually doubles as a privacy door. Yes, that locks so. back into place where it is. And then there's a sliding door here for the bedroom. You know, it's great because a lot of floor plans, the privacy door, just the way that it's arranged, and especially shorter coaches like this, you're not going to have a privacy door that still allows your guests to be able to get Go to in. the bathroom and the shower. Right. So, I mean, they literally have to walk into your master bedroom at night, mm -hmm. you know, to use the bathroom or to try to get to the shower. No, yep. with this setup, I mean, it's, it's ideal. It's that's, a tried and true floor plan, there's no that's doubt. That's why y'all just keep carrying it over from year you know, to year and just keep improving you know, you know like, upon the product like most of our coaches it's got the pull-out pantry with adjustable shelving on it a lot of storage area all the way around very deep cabinets all of the cabinets in the kitchen area are deep enough where they'll hold the you know 12 inch dinner plate it's just it's the little things again from talking to our consumers what they want and what they need when they're out there in the area so let's take a look up in the driving area for a second here Again, the front seats both swivel around for the living room area. When the driver's seat is in its driving position, everything is ergonomically correct. You're right off on the left-hand side, you've got your pad there for your hydraulic leveling system, which is both automatic or manual. Everything is very accessible. All of the components on the steering wheel itself that the driver needs without having to reach around and take his focus off the road itself. Again, you've got the exterior the window here for looking out. Very nice desk area here for her when you're traveling. It's got a 12 volt outlet here, two 110s for using your computer, you know, just doing whatever you want yeah, to do. Yeah, your phone charger. I mean, you can't have too exactly. many 12 volt chargers right. anymore. You know, for scrapbooking, having lunch, just doing whatever. It's a great storage area for a computer, or you can actually put maps and things down in there. And I really like the placement of the. Uh, the backup monitor. Most mm -hmm. of them are always, you know, so close to the driver's side that the passenger can't utilize them. You know, right. if he wants to, you know, if we want to check something, you know, the driver doesn't have to take his hands off the wheels or exactly. his eyes off the road. It's just a quick You know, glance. the co-pilot yeah. can can still operate the camera themselves if they wanted to manually. Um, and as you were noting earlier, you know, they can also be used for security purposes right. at night. It's a three-way camera system. I mean, you've got your backup camera. You can turn this up. That's actually behind the motorhome right now. So right. if she's back there, he can actually hear it through. When you turn the turn signals on, you get a left side camera, you get a right side camera. 
It gives you about a 10 by 30 foot scan of what's out there. One thing I like about it, you know, these things, again, they're made for traveling. You're going to be going to places you've never been. You may end up at night at a place you've never been, don't know anything about it. You know, you're all buttoned up. You got the jacks down. Everything is buttoned up. Watching television. Somebody knocks at your door at 10 o'clock at night. Well, the last thing you want to do is turn on the porch light and open up the door. You know, you come up here, again, we have LED lighting in all of our cameras, so it's daytime all the time. It can be 2 in the morning, and it still looks like this. So what you do is you come over here, and you turn on the camera for the dark side, and there's who's standing at your door. Basically, without turning on a porch light, without opening up the door, you can see, hey, it's Joe from next door. Let open up the door. Hey, right. we don't know who that is. Call 911. But to me, from this seat, I can literally, from the cameras back all the way around, look around this motorhome from this position. I mean, to me, it's a great safety feature that everybody needs to take advantage Definitely. of. Definitely. I mean, this is a great area up in here. I love the driving compartment. Cup holders are easily accessible there in the dog right. house. is a lot mm -hmm. smaller uh, exactly. than they used to be. It's really cut down. Lots and they, of vents. And I like how you put them back here, too. There oh, and I on the failed to mention side. them earlier, but, I mean, this <laughs> is a big deal. I mean, you don't think about it until you're traveling, and it's just like, well, i got to hold it. Or, I mean, if you set it anywhere and the driver changes lanes, taps the brakes, anything, you know, the kids' drinks, you know, right. they're, they're in the they're floor. Yep. You know, it's I mean. Just, you know, it's just a comfortable motorhome, and it, I'll make out a lot of times at, at shows. You drop that table down and you slip that cushion in there, that is one of the biggest chase lounges in the world. You can put your back in that corner up there and put your feet up and watch television. Whoever likes that, either him or her, the other one's got a European style recliner here. You've got a very comfortable sofa. I mean, again, it's just, it's a comfortable coach in only 32 foot. We've redesigned the whole interior cab. This is a full size bed. The cabinetry and everything is built in. So when the grandkids are with you and you need that extra sleeping, you just open up this compartment and it is key operated. You can turn it off and on and you just hit this and it comes down. Now to do it all the way down, you actually need to turn the seats right straight forward and tip them back a little bit because it'll come down to right <laughs> about here. There's a bunk ladder that's back in the back bedroom right now that locks into here and up in here, there's a full size air bed, quick inflate, quick deflate air mattress that goes in there. So they've got a great, very comfortable place to sleep. When they're with you, when they're not with you, you leave the mattress out. You can do numerous things in here. You can store bedding. You can put, you know, his clothes in here. If you're going to take all of the wardrobe space, this is a great place for his shirts and trousers. You can put them up there and they'll actually stay pressed when I raise it up to the ceiling. It's got and a it's lot a of other options. Sleeper. It's huge. I mean, it's, it's a right. big sleeper, uh, a lot larger than mm -hmm. most any of your other convertible beds, certainly exactly. your booth dinette conversions that you have. I mean, two adults can sleep up here. Right, very easily. And again, thinking outside the box, guy, you know, a lot of guys like to carry guns with them, right. rifles. Sure. They, there's never a place to put a rifle in a motorhome that's safe and secure, especially if you've got other people traveling with you. You can put it up inside there. You can put anything you want, fishing poles, pistols, rifles, whatever. Put them inside, raise it back up. Most people that walk in, I mean, even if you put money in there, there's never a safe, secure place in a motorhome. Most people that walk in here don't even know it's here to start with. Right. And if it's raised all the way up and the key is turned off, if they knew it was in there, they wouldn't be able to get right, to it. Right, you can't I mean, pull it down. It's a safe. I mean, it literally, you can put anything you want up there. But, the, you know, the way the cabinetry and everything is designed in, it's phenomenal. We have a, it's got its own ductwork. It's all the way flush mounted up. I told, turn that in. off and pull that out, and nobody's getting in there. Like I say, I believe me, I go to show after show. People will sit here for an hour, never know that this is up there until I point it out to them, and then they're just awestruck. But every floor plan of the Hurricane and Windsport, all five floor plans of each, has this available as an option. And well, it, just, it just immediately converts all of your floor plans into a family. Exactly. It converts it into right. a family floor plan at I that mean, point. You've got four big beds in a 32-foot motorhome. I mean, 
If that's what you want, we have it. <laughs> as we always say, you know, I mean, they're, they're made for two people, but if you want to take eight and you need them all to sleep, this is the floor plan, and it's like every one of our floor plans. They're just, they're unique, they're different, because we listen to the consumer. Well, you've done a great job. I really hey. appreciate all the time that you've spent with us here, and, and again, our family really appreciates you coming down and spending time with us, Art, I appreciate and walking, us through, uh, walking us through these coaches. That's what it's all about. We want people to have fun. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.